It's time for another new Kansas City Spotlight. Here's your new host, Lauren Scott. A Holocaust survivor and former radical Islamists are coming together to create a documentary combating anti-Semitism all around the world. I'm Lauren Scott, your new host for Kansas City Spotlight, and the new film, Never Again, comes out all over the country this month. And today we have film director Rick Elridge, one of its main subjects, Kasim Haviz, here with us today. Hi, gentlemen, how are you doing? Very good, Hi, thank you. Going? Where did you get the title Never Again from? Never again is a, a phrase that you hear in the Jewish community uh, referring back to the Holocaust uh, as an exclamation point, never again. This could never happen again. Uh, you'll notice we have a question mark at the end of ours because we see what's happened in our world uh, e even just recently in the last several months. And uh, we have to ask the question, really, could this happen again? And therefore we tell the stories that we tell uh, and and use this uh, this message never again uh, to hopefully uh, educate people in that process. Why is this the right time for a film like Never Again? Just the rise in anti-Semitism and there's just so much discord in general at the moment. A movie which shows two people from very different backgrounds and how the power of love and understanding over hatred can really make a difference is it, so important. After making a film featuring a Holocaust survivor, what have you found to be the best way to combat hatred? In telling these two parallel stories, we have two very different people. Uh, in Irving, uh, uh, a Jewish Holocaust survivor, and then Kasim, who dealt with uh, uh, the, the, the radical issues in his life. And uh, as we tell those stories, uh, you, you, you do learn so much about culture. You learn about the, the differences in people, but also the, the idea of how we can learn and understand and accept all people for who they are. Uh, we don't have to agree on everything and, and we don't all look alike, but there are so many things that we can, we can learn from each other and that we can uh, become better people because of. So uh, that's the, the message of, of the film. What do you hope viewers take away from Never Again? The horrific things that happened during the Holocaust to they see how the words we say and the actions that we do can be so detrimental to those around us. How people can be radicalized as children just by hearing comments, just by hearing little statements and how deep and impactful they can be. And three, the power of change and how we can all, no matter our background or whatever dark path we may have gone down or believed, we can actually make a change for the better and contribute to making the world a better place. And finally, with the rising anti-Semitism that you know, we speak out and realize that this is a responsibility to all of us. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here with us today. This Kansas City Spotlight is sponsored by the movie Never Again. For tickets, go to neveragainthemovie.com.